Developers have been creating instant apps for over a year now, enabling users to enjoy their apps by simply tapping a link or pressing a button in the Play Store instead of installing the entire app. But we didn't want to stop there. Games are a big part of the user experience on phones. For this reason, we've extended the instant app technology to games. Welcome to Google Play Instant, where apps and games can be played instantly. You might have seen the UX best practices for instant apps that we published last year on the Android Developers Channel. If you haven't yet, they're worth checking out. The link is in the video description below. Don't worry, I'll be here when you come back. But since games are a little different than apps, I'd like to talk a bit about the user experience specifically for games on Google Play Instant. There are many different ways that users can access a game without installing it. Users may be coming from an ad, a link on a website, a message from a friend, the Play Games app, Google search results, or the Try Now button on the Play Store. Consider what you want your gaming experience on Google Play Instant to accomplish. Do you want it to be a standalone game that is completely instant? Or can you make the first level of your game available to be accessed instantly, allowing users to try out your game? Some developers have created this sort of companion to their existing games. This experience creates excitement with your gamers by showing off the most exciting parts of a game before installation. There are plenty of exciting options to choose from. Think about which route you want to take and be deliberate when building out your instant experience. In doing so, you'll increase your reach by providing value to your gamers. We've created a new loading UI for launching games from Google Play Instant. We think it's much more appropriate for a gaming experience, and users have been telling us that they love it. It sometimes takes a little longer to launch a game than it is to launch an app. So it was important for us to keep users entertained while a game is loading. To avoid users abandoning your experience, try to get them into the gameplay as soon as possible. If it is necessary to show an additional loading screen in the game, try to shorten it as much as possible. You can load in additional parts of your game during runtime using the Google Play Core library. When prompting users to install your game or to pre-register, show a button in your UI that uses the words install or pre-register. In games, it is usually better to not just rely on the download or install icon alone. You can choose to show the prompt permanently in your UI, between levels, or as part of the main menu. Whether you choose only one of uh, these options or all of them, make sure that your users can have a great experience even without installing your game. Your instant experience shouldn't be reduced to an ad banner. It is important to save your users' progress when they play your game after installing it. In particular, uh, their achievements and their purchases must not go missing after they've decided to install your game. You can use the cookie and storage APIs to do this. People will want to keep that magic battle axe that they fought so hard for against those ugly goblins in that dungeon. As it is possible to access games on Google Play Instant by simply clicking a link, some users will access them serendipitously or unintentionally. For those users, it is important to have a way back out of the game if they choose to leave. Do not disable the Android Back button at the bottom of the screen. It is fine to show a warning when it is pressed to alert users they're about to exit the game but it is good practice not to disrupt established navigational patterns. Google Play Instant is a fantastic way for users to share their gaming experience with friends and let them try it out themselves. In your game, make it easy for users to invite others to join them. Players are much more likely to join if they're not only invited by someone they know, but also get to try out the experience before they commit to purchasing it themselves. To recap, when designing a user experience uh, for your game on Google Play Instant, consider the right entry points and use cases for your game. Remove any unnecessary latency and let your users experience the game as quickly as possible. Think about the right moment in your experience to prompt for installation and pre-registration. Make sure your users maintain their progress after installing the game. Don't disable the Android Back button and provide a way for your users to share a game with others. We believe that games on Google Play Instant are a great way to remove friction for your users. We can't wait to see what you will build with it. 
You can find everything I talked about here and much more on cheetoco slash instantapps. Also, check out our recommendations for building a good user experience in your instant apps. You can find the link in the description below. Thanks for watching.